Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Premier League Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video, I want to look at my team going into Game Week 24. However, let's have a quick look at Game Week 23 and see how well my team has performed. As you can see, I've got 38 points above the average of 35, but I made two transfers. So that is a minus four, so that's 34 points in total. I, I actually cannot remember what I did um let's have a quick look oh yeah i bought in dennis and as you can see i captained him he got me a minus two but i bought in nick pope and he got me 19 points as you can see back to back clean sheets against arsenal he got me 10 points and i was like over the moon and against watford he got me nine points 19 points from him uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to bring Nick Pope is because of Burnley's um, postponement fixtures. I was just thinking to myself, you know what, I could, I need to do something a little bit different because my season is is not going well, and I need to push, and I need to push hard. Um, and as you can see, like, you know, this season it's it's not going well for me um, this time around. However, I'm pushing. Um, I'm trying to push and get closer to the top 1k mark. I'm around 382,000. So that's good. I kind of maintained the rank there. I'm hoping that I can get a green arrow in the next couple of game weeks. Um, I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, I don't know what you guys think. And a lot of people are going to say, don't do it. But for me... I, you know, I haven't made any big decisions right now. I haven't made any big decisions right now. But for me, I want to use the wild card. Now, hear me out. I know a lot of people are going to be, you know, saying, hey, why are you using your wild card? What's wrong with you? Why don't you use your wild card after or around game week 28 or after game week 30? You know, a lot of people are looking at game week 31 and using it there. I... For me, look, let you know, let them do what they want to do. You know, for me, um, and where I am in the season, and you know my rank, I need to push now. I think if I wait and you know bring in one player here and one player there, I'm, I feel like I'm not gonna get. I feel like I'm not gonna get anywhere. And if I wait, like to the last ten game weeks or something, I think it might be a little bit too late. So I really want to push now so, you know, I can keep that momentum going. Now, hear me out. So um, I'm thinking to wildcard. And as you can see, you know, there is a, a number of players here that I want to get rid of. So Nick Pope, I don't want to because of the, you know, some fixtures for um, Burnley. So there could be more fixtures coming up for them um, and very, very soon. Diaz, I would like to change him to Cancelo because I have to, because Cancelo has just continued to do well and I need to bring him in. Um, Dawson, I can get rid of. Maybe I can bring in Robertson and double up on the Liverpool defence. And, you know, as you can see, I've got Trent. Uh, I'm thinking, this is, the, this is the big change. The big change is to bring in Kevin De Bruyne and captain him for game week 24. Now, that is... That's, that's that's the big move, is to bring in Kevin De Bruyne. And with his money, is to remove Kevin De Bruyne uh, to Fernandez in game with 25 and Captain Fernandez in game with 25 because he's got a double. And then remove Fernandez in game with 26 and bring in Salah and Captain him. Now, I could triple Captain Salah, which a lot of people is going to go for. However, I am actually thinking to use the bench boost. I'm thinking to go all out and try and get in closer to the top 100k target. And I want to push now. And there is a lot of players. Like, think about this, right? Right now, in your mind, when you're looking at your team, you've got a lot of players that you want, right? You want to change things. things you want to change a lot of things around. That's what's going through my mind. And with the wild card, not only I can get a very, very good team for game week 26, so I can use the bench boost, I will have a, an okay team for game week 27. So that means I don't need to use my free hit. What I'm going to do is just like play it as normal 
and get to 30 um, and a lot of people know right now that game 30 is going to be like a big blank game week um, and I'm going to use the free hit there and that is what I'm thinking to do I know there's going to be a lot of um, blanks in here and there but I want to push now there's just a lot of players that I want to I want in my team there's a lot of things right now that we can gain a lot in a short time and I want to try and get in that now um, I don't know maybe that's the wrong decision but Let's have a quick look at the strategy, right? So, this is how the team is looking like. This is from LiveFPL.net. Uh, so, this is how my team is, right? And as you can see, I bought in Robertson. So, this is a a look at how my team would look like without the wildcard and how what, what would I do right now, right? So, this, this game week, uh, coming up, game week 24, I'm thinking to remove Christensen and I want to bring in Robertson. And this is the team what I'm thinking to play. Maybe I could play Smith Rowe if I feel like he's going to start. Something like this. So I've got a decent amount of Manchester City players. You know, I've got Bowen. I've got Dawson against Watford. I've got Watkins against Leeds. Um, uh, Fernandes against Burnley. So it's, it's actually not too bad. Not too bad, okay? So if I move this now, if I go to um, game with 25, I hope that you guys can see it. I'm just going to scroll in a little bit. So, as you can see, I, I had Sanchez on my bench. So, um, I will play him in game week 25. I'll have Diaz, um, Bernardo, Gundogan against Norwich. That's that's quite good. But don't forget, like, there's the Champions League as well coming up. So, there could be some rotation there. But we don't know. It could, anything can happen. It could happen with uh, with um, Liverpool, players, Liverpool players as well. I've got Trent and Robertson. I've got Fernandez, and he will be my captain. Um, I've got Watkins, I've got King and Dennis uh, at home against Burnley. Smith Rowe won't have any fixture. Williams will be on the bench and Dawson will be on the bench against Leicester City. And I'll uh, bench Pope. So something like this. Um, now I could, I could try to bring in a Manchester United uh, defender. So I could remove maybe Dawson or Williams or something for Dallow or... Veron, as an example, let's just say I don't do anything because I want to. I want to just show you guys how the team will look like. So in game with twenty six, you know this is my team. Um, then I will remove um, what's it called? I will remove Fernandez and I will bring in Mo Salah and I will triple captain him. I got Trent, um, Robertson, Diaz, um, Bernardo at home as you can see. Bowen. I've got Smith Bro. He's got two fixtures. I've got Dennis and King. So I'm not. Let's just like with my team. I'm not going to remove them. I've got Watkins. Um, I, I still got a, an okay bench. I've got Gundu one. Well, if he plays, um, Dawson and Sanchez and Williams. And Williams doesn't have a good fixture, so it's not the best bench boost here. But as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double game week players. Like that's it. Low hits. Seven double game week players. And plus, I still got one more free transfer because I banked the transfer in game week 25, which I won't, but I'm just showing you guys how my team would look like without the wild card. So it's not too bad. Um, then that means I'll keep my wild card. I'll use that elsewhere. Okay? And I'll triple captain Mo Salah. And there we go. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below, please, because I need your help. Or, or... I can go to, I hope this works, uh, I'm going to go to um, plan 2 and I'm going to go for uh, game week 24. So plan 2 is to wildcard, okay, is to wildcard in game week 24, so early wildcard. The reason I want to do an early wildcard is because I want, I want to captain Kevin De Bruyne against Brentford at home. I want to bring in Cancelo, I want to bring in Varane. I've got Trent and Robertson as well for my two um, Liverpool um, cover. I've got Ramsdale. I've got Rafinha. Uh, I've got Cornet. I've got uh, Watkins, King. I, I left King because there's not many good strikers out there right now. Um, I've got Morpé, uh, Dan Grady, Smith Rowe to Martellini, and kept Nick Pope. And I got Cody. Now, I don't have to go for these players. I can adjust and go for better players. But just hear me out. So I've got like, how many changes? One, two, three, um, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. That's ten changes on the wild card. That's that's quite a lot. Now, I could change things around. I can go for instead of going for Nick Pope, I can go for the hair. Um, but have a look at this. So I go for game week twenty five. Okay. Um, Nick Pope, not the best fixture in the world, but I do want to keep him because um, Burnley's got a lot of fixtures to to go. Um, as you can see, Cancelo against Norwich. I got Dallow here. It looks like I went for Dallow, so so there must be a change. So I think I went for Dallow because to fit in um, Salah. So forget the Veron pick on the game with 24 um, page. So I got Robertson and Trent, um, Fernandez, Bowen, Rafinha, Morpé, King, and Watkins. This will be my bench. As you can see, the Arsenal players is not playing that game that day. Uh, that game week, sorry. So that's how the team will look like. And I'll have one, sorry, one, two, three double game week players in game week 25. Now, if I move to game week 26, I know this is long, but look at this. I've got Nick Pope. He's got two fixtures. I've got Cancelo at home against Tottenham. I've got Dallow away against Leeds. I've got Trent and Robertson. Great home fixtures. One transfer here to remove Fernandez to bring in Salah, Captain Salah, because everyone's going to captain him. Uh, I've got Bowen, I've got Rafinha. I know not, it's not the best fixtures in the world, but I want to keep him for the long term. Watkins, got King, uh, more pay. I've got, look at the bench. I've got Ramsdale, great fixtures there. I've got Cody, could get something. I've got Martellini, I've got Cornette. So, this is what I'm thinking to do, is to bench boost in game week 26. That's what I'm thinking to do. Then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 double game week players. And, you know, I could take a hit. I can remove more pay for another striker that's got a double. Or maybe I want, Maybe I might not need to even bring more pay. Um, maybe I could just leave Dennis or something. Or maybe go for the Burnley, the new Burnley striker early on and just bench him. And that's what I'm thinking to do. Um, that's the second option. And then game week 27 will come around. Um, and I've got Nick Pope against Crystal Palace. Cancelo against Everton. Dallow at home against Watford. Cody, Bowen, Rafinha, Cornet, um, Bruno Fernandes, Watkins, King, Morpé. And I bench, um, you know, Trent and Robertson. I remove Salah and bring Salah back in in game week Um in game week 28 but as you can see for game week 27 it's actually the team is not too bad so you know and i've got a team in game week 27 and a lot of people are thinking to use the free hit and you know try doing something a little bit different this is what i'm thinking just yeah anyways let me know what you guys think i'm gonna mess around a little bit more and obviously moving forward um you know for game week 28 a lot of other things could happen you know there could be more doubles so um, you know, Nick Pope could be having another double, but then I'll have a lot of players on the bench. But then I got like Dallo that is quite cheap. I got Martinelli that is that quite cheap. Um, so there are quite a lot of like cheap players. So I could still make different moves that if I wanted to do that. So if I wanted like money, I can remove Robertson, downgrade him to like a four point five. So that will give me more money to kind of use elsewhere. <sighs> Anyways, that is pretty much it. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so just let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I, I need your support on this. I need your ideas. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, like if I if I don't make any any moves, um, I might yeah, I might even just bank the transfer here and make the moves. Uh, in game week 25 and go for a Manchester United defender um, and maybe get Robertson or I could even go for Jota but yeah let me know in the comments below what you think and that is pretty much it thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time see ya